Hey XQC, I watch your streams every day. You help me get through the tough times. XQC. This is an interesting. Now, please, could you check this song out and tell me what you think? If not, it's okay. XQCL. You've read the title, so you know what this is about. It's a question that crosses our mind every time we hear it at a convenience store. Why are all of these cash registers using the Sonic the Hedgehog sound effect? It's such a random question and mystery, but it's one of those things that I feel never really gets answered. We hear it, we take notice, and Wait. then we go on with our- Wait, no, that's not even true though. No, 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 no. Sonic sound is to play. This is to play. Day like it's nothing. Because it really is nothing. But it's something to me. And today, we're gonna figure this out. Or at least try to. Let me take you back to 1975. It is not the same. It's the mid 70s. Gaming's in its infancy, and there's a ripe, wide-open market for video game arcade machines. A company named Sammy Industry was born, and had a primary focus in the budding amusement arcade markets. By 1978, they built their first factory in Tokyo to Sammy. begin video game development. Fast forward to 1990, and gaming since blown up. Sammy Industries so cool. has created a plethora of subsidiaries and divisions for different electronic markets around the world. However, one of them, Techno Sammy Co. would be aimed at creating machines for the widely popular pachinko game we all know of today. By 2003, Sammy had grown to establish presences in various countries, including the US and the United Kingdom. Wait, is this gambling or arcades? Out of nowhere, Sega entered the mix when, that year, Sammy expressed interest in acquiring the company as one of its many pre-existing subsidiaries due Both. to declining profits after the launch of the Dreamcast. At the time, Sega declined interest. However, a year later, a deal was eventually reached where Sammy would purchase a controlling share in the Sega Corporation for $1.1 billion. This resulted in a new branch of the company, Sega Sammy Holdings, and from here on, Sega was tasked with research and development of Sammy's entertainment and pachinko machines. And they were balling. But what about the cash registers? Well, as it turns out, since Sammy now owns the rights to Sega's IPs, they're able to license these out to various companies. With this in mind, I went out to a few gas stations around my area, notably ones that I knew utilized the sonic sound effects, and asked the cashiers I came into contact with what the brand name of the registers were. And nearly all of them informed me that they're made by a company named Gobarco Vita Roots. Their point of sale system, the Gobarco Passport, was created in 1999 and has since grown to be one of the most popular convenience store systems to date, with over 40,000 locations utilizing their hardware. Considering the fact that there are roughly 70,000 gas stations with convenience stores in the US, it's safe to say that if you're going out to grab a quick snack while your gas is pumping, you just might be checking out with one of these systems. Anyway, it appears to me that Gobarco utilizes third-party developers for their Passport POS software. We'll leak the card. Since their system has been in the business for upwards of two decades now, with clear market share dominance, I'm heavily leaning towards the possibility that Sega Sammy Holdings jumped in on the opportunity to either develop or assist in developing the software for the Gilbarco Passports. Either that's, or they're simply licensing out the sound effects for their system. I thought, I, I thought these were scary videos. That one does seem like a bit more of a stretch. Considering the fact that these sonic sounds have been used for decades now, the potential of these being utilized without the knowledge of Sega Sammy Holdings just wouldn't make much sense. They've got to be involved, and considering that they're one of the most well-known developers out there, I truly believe that they have a hand in the Passport OS. Guys! And with that, we'll forever be grabbing delicious snacks, pumping gas, grabbing a drink, and listening to the sweet, nostalgic jingle I'm skipping. With Sonic the Hedgehog collecting those rings. I thought it was a skip video. Dude. But, yeah, this got to me. <laughs> anyway, that'll do it for tonight's random mystery adventure. Who knows? I might start doing more of these cash. Okay.
I'm, I'm kind of confused, but um, oh, he's showing me videos. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Okay. 